So we talked about uh, graphing a line using the slope intercept method. That's one way to graph. You're going to graph that way when you have an equation that is set up as y equals mx plus b. The second type is what we will use for the most part in um, 1324 um, because we'll be uh, using the standard method. So the second method is called the intercept method or what I like to call the cover-up method. So I'll show you why it's called the cover-up method in a minute. The standard format of a linear equation is AX plus BY equals C. The A, B, and C are just numbers. They just represent numbers. The X and the Y are both to the first power. That's how you know it's a linear equation, because you have both an X and a Y. They're both to the first power. So when your X and your Y are on the same side of the equal sign, you're in standard form, and you can use the cover-up method. So let me give you an example. So if I had the equation 3x plus 4y equals 12, the 3 represents your a, the 4 represents your b, and the 12 rep represents your c, or the constant. There's no variable next to it. So the reason why this is called the intercept method is because what we're doing is with any line, all you need are two points. So our two points that we're going to find are the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So what that means is when you're graphing, since this is my x-axis here and this is my y-axis here, the x-intercept is any point that is on your x-axis. So if you notice, if I put a point here, my y-value is going to be 0. If I put a point here, my y-value is also going to be 0. So with an x-intercept, your point, the address of the point, will always be whatever the x value is, the y value is going to be 0. Okay? With a y-intercept, because again, we need two points to draw a line, the y-intercept means somewhere it crosses across the, the y-axis. Okay? So, just like the other one, if I put a point here, my x value is 0. If I put a point here, my x value is 0. So, excuse me, with the y-intercept, the address of the point is going to be 0 and then whatever your y-value is, okay? Now, that's what makes this so easy is because we're dealing with zeros. So where the cover-up part comes in is if I'm looking for my x-intercept for this equation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my y with 0. So if I come over here and put a 0 here, I end up with 4 times 0. Well, 4 times 0 is 0. So what that means is I can cover this up because it goes away. I've replaced the y with a 0. It all becomes 0. It goes away. So I can cover it up. Well, if you notice, once I cover the y term up, I end up with 3x equals 12. So I'm going to write this down, but you're going to get so good at this that you're not going to have to write anything down. All you're going to have to do is look at it and go, oh, my x value is the 12 divided by 3. And where I get that is to solve for x. If I divide both sides by 3, the 3 goes away. I end up with x equals 4. So my x-intercept for this particular equation is x is 4, y is 0. Okay. Now we're going to find our y-intercept. So the y-intercept is when x is 0. So it's the exact same concept. If I come up here and I replace my x with 0, I get 3 times 0 is 0. So, oops, sorry. So I can cover it up. Okay? So the minute I multiply by 0, it all goes away. So I can cover it up. So what's left is going to give me my y value. So I end up with 4y equals 12. To solve for y, I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So I end up with y equals 3. So in this particular case, my x-intercept is 4, 0. My y-intercept is 0, uh, 3. And I have two points. I'm going to graph those two points. So I end up with 1, 2, 3, 4. My y-intercept is 0, 3. So 1, 2, 3. There's my two points. All I have to do is connect the points and I end up with a linear equation or a line, okay? Let's try one more. <clears throat> All right. 
right, so let's say we have negative 2x minus 3y equals 6. Okay, so I'm looking for my x-intercept. I'm using the cover-up method. When I'm looking for my x-intercept, my y is 0, so I'm going to cover up my y. So the equation I end up with is negative 2x equals 6. So I divide both sides by negative 2, and I get x equals negative 3. So I'm going to take out my x and plug in my negative 3. To find the y-intercept, that's when my x value is 0. So I come over here, plug in 0 here, I cover up my x value. The equation that's left is negative 3y equals 6. So I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3, and I get y equals negative 2. So this becomes negative 2. And now to graph it, all I have to do is plot my points. So this is negative 3, 0. 1, 2, 3. There's my negative 3. This is 0, negative 2. Negative 1, negative 2. There's my line. And that's all it is. Cover-up method. It works great, and you'll get very used to it because we use it quite a bit on a lot of our applications. Okay?